Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's your boy Gabbo. So we back with another one, bro. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know all the fun stuff. Yo, bro. This video, we got the things, the 20 things that you didn't know about Shaq, bro. If you don't know, yo, I ain't gonna lie. On the, yo, when I, when I look back at the historical grace I've played in the NBA, especially the center position, you'll find it hard pressed to convince anybody that Shaq ain't top three, number one, maybe. You know, you got Kareem, you got, you got Will, obviously, you got Bill. But you, listen, man, there's never been another, there's never been a Shaq ever. So, we got the top 20 things that you didn't know about Shaquille O'Neal. And we're going to get right into it, man. These are 20 things you didn't know about Shaq. I go from what does Shaq not do, bro? Ain't no way he hit a home run, son. And for number 20, there's no way you knew that Shaq is an MMA fighter. MMA is the reason I became a, a champion. Because when I played basketball, it wasn't basketball, it was more wrestling. So when I trained MMA with uh, John Burke, I came back in the best shape of my life. Yeah, Shaq's seven foot one and knows MMA. Bruh! Terrifying. But so is number 19, as you probably didn't know that Shaq was six foot four at oh, just 10 years old. When you were 10 years old, you were six foot That's four. That's a cap. True. Really? Yeah. That is not a child. That's a full grown man. Well, look, it's oh, even nah. bigger than Shaq's body. <laughs> is his Twitter? Cousin number 18. I bet you didn't know that Shaq was the first person ever to get verified. See, back in 2008, really? people were impersonating Shaq on Twitter, even going as far as using his name to scam. So, to set the record straight, Shaq made his own official handle at the real Shaq. And it helped, but there were still some fake accounts tricking people. So in June of 2009, Twitter came up with the ultimate solution, giving Shaq the very first blue check mark in social media wow. history. Damn, wow. This man Shaq changed the world. Wow. So did number 17, because I bet you didn't know that Shaq was supposed to be in the car with Biggie the night he was killed. See, in 1996, Shaq met a hip hop icon. The notorious B.I.G. And they headed off so well that they Damn. even recorded a track together called Can't Stop the Rain. And this song. Yo, bro, the beginning what of did friendship. Shaq not so do in his life, bro? Like, yo, you know the whole saying when, when they say, like, a person has lived a full life, bro? What has Shaq not done? I almost forgot this man used to make music, bro. <laughs> Outside of basketball. Yeah, we know what he did for the Los Angeles Lakers. But this man's lived a full life, bro. Shaq is on, like... You know, the only the only other person I could think of that's on Shaq's level in terms of what I think is like work ethic is fucking Snoop Dogg. I cursed. Well, I don't matter. Yo, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg and Shaq is on everything, bro. Is on everything. After Shaq's birthday, Biggie wanted to celebrate. So he invited Shaq out for a night of girls, music, and party. And Shaq was down, but had accidentally fallen asleep just hours before the party started which might have just saved his life. I had on the cold white suit and the white hat and all that. I was actually on my way. I was dressed, ready to go. Shaq says he fell asleep and never made it to the party. A call from his mother woke him up at 4 a.m. She said, did you go to the party? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? She said, you know, your friend was shot. It was a sad day for everyone. Sad day for everyone. Man, I just feel bad for Shaq. That's rough. Damn. But so is Shaq shooting. Cousin number 16, you probably had no clue that during his entire NBA career, Shaq only made one three-pointer. One. Didn't he make a three-pointer for Miami? I think he made one for Miami, bro. Ooh, gotta give it to Shaq. That shot was wet. I mean, I'm starting to think he can shoot. I'm gonna Google that. Especially after number 15, because I don't think you knew that Shaq is a cop. And you know th this was on my list as a as, as a youngster. I said one day I want to be a cop. So I started pursuing that here in Los Angeles. Like a lot of people would give me badges, and I was like, you know what? If you give me a badge, when I go out on the street, the officers not gonna respect me. So I made them put me through two different police academies, and I became a full fledged reserve officer, level one. Uh, level three is security guard status. Level two is you Bruh. have to ride with another officer. Level one, you can ride by yourself. You have full fledged police officer duties. Yeah. And Shaq takes his duty seriously, because over the years, he's worked for 11 different police departments, serving as deputy sheriff, a U.S. marshal, and hell, he even became Why? a detective. 
Hi, I'm Detective Shaquille O'Neal. Like, he doesn't uh, even uh, have to do that, bro. Why I wear the badge? Plain and simple. The badge made me who I am. Man, all jokes aside, this man Shaq is a hero. But sometimes, Shaq needs saving himself. Because in number 14, I bet you didn't know the Shaq was almost eaten by a shark. Topside, ABC. How's our boy looking down there? A little nervous, but... Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I ain't go front. That's one thing you'll never hear almost having a guy both, bro. Nah, I'm a land creature. I'm a land creature, my boy. What? Sorry, sorry, what did you say? There's a shark in the cage! I gotta get him out! Oh, no, they wildin'. They wildin'. They wildin'. They wildin'. They wildin'. Woo, that lawsuit would have been thick. That shit real too. Yo. Now Shaq might be scared of sharks. Only, only a response Number Shaq would give, bro. Is even scary. Cause you probably oh, didn't man. know the Shaq started his very own. Halloween festival. It's me, Shaq. This year, I am taking over Southern California for my own twist on Halloween at Shacktoberfest! Family friendly trick or treating during the day, frightfully fun nightmare haunted trails, exciting live entertainment, and delicious food and drinks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, damn. Shaq is such Shaq a likable guy, bro. I also never like... knew number 12 either. The fact that Shaq is an inventor. I mean, he's made the Shaq waffle maker, the Shaq grill. Hell, he even developed the Shaq shoe foam. But in 2021, he created his most brilliant invention yet. Hey, America, you're going to love this. It's Why is crazy, it so bro. hard to boil eggs? They're either too soft, too hard, or explode in the boiling water. But now you can make a lot of eggs in a little time with a Shaq egg maker. It bro, Shaq out here making eggs. eggs. Exactly how you like them. When you see the name Shaq, you know it's all that. Yeah, ever since this thing dropped, just it's levels, bro. Lives. We're going just to use levels. Our Shaq egg maker today. Okay, we got our 14 eggs in there, got holes in the top of them, and this is how it's supposed to look when you start making it. Look at Shaq, man, changing the world one egg at a time. But a number 11, Crazy, bro. he was changing the NBA, because you might not have known that Shaq is the biggest prankster the league's ever seen. Like, he forced rookies to carry his bags, stuff trash in people's cars, recorded diss tracks. That's one thing we all know. Like, team this dude's sense of humor. For no reason. But there's one prank that went way too far. I want to ask you about this, and we can go into it if you want to talk about it. The, the little back and forth war between you and Lou Amundsen. So him and Lou Amundsen are going back and forth. This mother put Lou's mouthpiece in his tights for shoot around. <laughs> went through the whole shoot around, quietly puts it back up in his thing. But by the time the game comes around, some, you must have told people because more people knew about it. So Lou puts his mother mouthpiece in after coach talks, so we're about to huddle and we just lose oh. it. Bro. <laughs> he violated, bro. Uh, but what you doing? Disgusting. I go from bro. We're in the top ten now. <laughs> that means real shit. If Shaq did that to you as a teammate, what do you do? What do you do to that, bro? <laughs> what do you do to that? This man is seven foot one, three hundred and fifty pounds. Like what do you like? You got to blow Shaq, bro never seen before Top while 10. you might have known that Shaq is a terrible free throw shooter uh, you definitely didn't know bank. why see when Shaq was just 11 years old he was out climbing a tree just being a kid when all of a sudden a branch snapped sending Shaq straight to the ground at that moment Shaq had broken both of his yeah, wrists he was 230 pounds at eight was yet to come because after this injury Shaq's wrist didn't heal properly making him unable to cock his right hand and leaving his left hand Pause. permanently bent inwards. And according to Lakers coach Del Harris, this made it impossible for Shaq to have a proper shooting form. Yeah, people like to clown the guy, but he went through it. And Imagine yeah, making it to the NBA to and you don't even have a shooting form, bro. Nine. You he gotta be dominant. Shaq almost killed someone. See, when Shaq was growing up, he was a completely different person. I believe well, it. Shaq was a bully. But one day, he took the bullying to a dangerous level. I was always a bully until one day in fifth grade at a spit wad, I threw it 
at the uh, chalkboard and splattered. This kid rats me out. But prior to that, my, my, my father said, if you get suspended again, I'm going to kill you. First, Jeez. I go to the office. Three days. So now I got to go home. You're suspended for three suspended days. Suspended for three days. So now I got to go home. I already know what I'm getting when I get home. But before I go home, I'm going to whoop your ass. So I'm beating this kid up, and I'm kicking this kid, and he has an epileptic seizure. Damn. So it's me and the kid out there, and he's on the ground shaking. I'm, I, now I'm frightened because, uh-oh. So then a guy comes, and he saves the kid. And, you know, but after that, I go home, I get disciplined, my mother puts me to the side and said, you're too big and too strong, you can't ever do that again. And that kind of, that kind of stayed with me. I was like, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. So then I was like, you know, I'm not going to beat people up. Let me, let me go to plan B on how to get them to like me. Because I'm all, I, I was always a class clown, funny guy. So now let me just, you can see it. You know, do this a lot to get you people You can see like it. Me. And I just stuck with that rather than being a bully. Man, good on Shaq. Like you a really gentle giant now. Together. Which brings us to number eight, because I bet you didn't know just how generous Shaq really is. Whenever I go to a store from now on, buy people things. I'm buying somebody else something. Yeah. Period. All right, grab your bike. Make it quick. Every day I leave the house, I gotta bless somebody. Make it quick. I can't. I can't keep Make all this. Make it quick. Oh, mongoose. I had a mongoose when I was little. Damn. You sure you don't want no mongoose, cuz? That's what it's all, all right, about, bro. It. Leaving hey, impacts on people. Me. Don't take nothing else from no strangers. Yes, sir. All right, let's roll. Yeah, from bikes to laptops, even bought a man's engagement ring. Now, this dude Shaq is like the Mr. Beast of the NBA. But hey, Shaq is used to spinning big. Cause for number seven, you probably didn't know that his entire life is custom made. See, with Shaq being seven foot one, he can't just go to a random store and find stuff that fits. He has to have everything customized to his size, from shoes to bikes to cars. I mean, damn, the guy even bought a custom bed that's so big, it fits 50 people. You saw oh, the biggest bed in the world? Remember that thing we talked about? Yes. You know, it's Orlando, right? Yeah, it's in Orlando. And how, how big is it? It fits 50 people. 50? Yeah. Man. I want to jump on Shaq's uh -huh. bed, but what I don't want is number six. Uh -huh. I knew that Shaq made one of the worst video games of all no, time. I'm weak, bro. Back in 1994, That's what I'm talking about. Shaq released his very own fighting game called Shaq Fu, thinking he'd make waves in the gaming scene. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. But this game was a total flop. Of course. Like the critics give it a 2.9 out of 10. But that's being friendly. It so much that someone launched a website dedicated to destroying every copy of the game in existence. Damn. Shaq Fu might be bad, but this is just weird. But hey, Shaq's no. got more important things to worry about. Because for number five, there's no way you knew that Shaq is an actual doctor. See, in 1992, after three years of college, Shaq dropped out of school for the NBA, and despite choosing basketball, he promised himself that one day he'd go back and finish where he started. So not only did he take some classes while he was in the NBA, but in 2011, after retiring, Shaq returned to college and became Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. Dr. David Cox is a How's this shit not inspiring, bro? How's this not inspiring? It is my number one accomplishment because I didn't think I could do it at first. For the children that look up to me, for a guy that, that, how that big went this to man school is. and stopped and, you know. How big this man is, bro. This dude's a giant. Set an example. Man, after an achievement cop, that big, bro. Jack should be proud. But what he should be ashamed of is number four. I don't think you knew that Shaq oh, nah, his feet. has the ugliest feet in NBA ah! history. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Hey, look at this man's feet. Oh, oh my God, this for real. Nah, this bro. Was, this was what we did at nah, bro. Guard your eyes. When they say there's certain song, things that money can't buy, yeah. Yeah, they'll talk it. about hey, this nigga's foot. Oh, That's one. crazy, bro. <laughs> the other one is, you got it painted. Start the music. Start the dancing. Someone needs to get this man some lotion. Man's foot looks right, mummified. Dog. We've hit the top three, so we're about to go deep into Shaq's life. And first, I doubt you knew that Shaq has sold billions of dollars worth of shoes. 
and it all started in the 90s. Oh, yes, sir. Shaq Reebok. Signed the deal of a lifetime. An endorsement with Reebok worth 40 million. I think million. he's part owner now. Over the next few years, Shaq I think he... swept the kick game off his feet, selling signature shoes for up to $300 a pair. But there was one big problem. I had a Reebok deal, 40 for five. And I'm leaving the arena one day, and this lady, is, she's ripping me into it. You mother charging these babies all this money for the shoes so i had like a two thousand in my pocket i was like ma'am i don't make the prices here you go and she smacked the money in my hat why would you motherfuckers make a shoe that's affordable yeah and after this confrontation Ugh. Shaq knew he had to make things right so he started scheming and came up with a brilliant idea and i thought about it and i was like you know what she's right so that day cut ties with reebok started my that own day. brand yeah that day Told what do you him, said, define cut ties? I told him, I said, keep the money. This ain't right. Don't want to make it no fight. I'll still wear the shoes that I wear during the season, but I'm going to be looking to do my own thing. And I went to my favorite store, Walmart, and we did a deal. And uh, I was in all stores, and my price point for the shoes was $29, $19. And since then, we sold over 400 I'm million pairs. 400 million pairs of Shaq. Shaq shoes. That's over $4 billion in revenue. God damn. This man Shaq is a genius. Like, I don't think there's a single thing this man can't do. I mean, at number two, he even became an award-winning producer. In 2021, Shaq learned that there was a woman that was drafted by an NBA team. Lucia uh, Harris. I remember he was so inspired by her I think story, she just recently passed away. He decided to executive produce a documentary on Lucia called The Queen of Basketball. And this documentary was a hit. It's at the 2020 Academy Awards. The Queen of Basketball won short documentary of the year, making Shaq an Oscar-winning producer. Man, we got movies, video games, music. Shaq really has done everything. Well, everything except number one. Because I don't think you knew that the one thing that Shaq doesn't do is drugs. Because growing up, Shaq's father figure was a drill sergeant. And he made it his mission to keep Shaq in line. When I was young, I, believe I used it. to get punished for every athlete's mistake. If you made a mistake? No, if an, a professional athlete made a mistake. Then you would get punished? Yes. What do you mean? Because my father would always come in and start my discipline off, if you ever. Oof. Right. So if you ever hit a woman, I'll kill you. Go to the room. The worst spanking I got ever was Lynn Bias. You know what Lynn Bias mm -hmm. is? So my father came in the house fuming. He had tears in his eye. So when Lynn Bias passed away, oh, if you ever do drugs, I will kill you. And that's why I don't, I don't do drugs or drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that mentality kept Shaq in check. So as he got older and turned into a basketball phenom, he didn't let the perks of being a star ruin his life. Instead, Shaq kept his nose clean and became one of the richest, most iconic players in NBA history. Damn, I got nothing but respect for Shaq. Globally, man, man. I ain't gonna front. You know how sometimes you just get so used to hearing people's name that you almost kind of take them for granted? One thing that this video definitely opened my eyes to was definitely just how... Because they say a part, of, a part of greatness is also longevity, right? You have to be able to sustain greatness. Anybody could be great for one year. But to sustain greatness defines you know uh a legacy and for this man yo bro we talked about 20 different things that Shaq is great at and none of them included basketball i beg your pardon none of them included basketball these are off the court things accomplishments from video games to to, to albums to sneakers it's it like to, to food products it's like yo bro i ain't got front the other day i went to uh what was it walmart I went to Walmart and like we were walking through the electronic section and like I think I was looking at laptops, bro. And next to the laptops, there were like printers. And I looked up, I glanced over to the right and looked at the printers. Shaq has a printer. Shaquille O'Neal got printers with, with his name on it, bro. Like the sky is really the limit. The only thing like I really like when you listen to stories about Shaquille O'Neal, it makes you feel like you could do anything you set your mind to. Right? Except be born seven foot one, 320 moves, 320 pounds, and and be the most dominant player in NBA history. Outside of that, I think all of us got a chance. I think all of us could achieve with some of the things that Shaq has done. But in one lifetime, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the GOATs. One of the GOATs. And watching this video has, has earned 
a lot of appreciation from me because this man has been so great for so long that you just kind of forget like what these people are up to all like none of these have to do with basketball bro nah nah bro nah there's the there's levels to this there's levels to this bro i would love to see this man's bank account not that i'm counting pockets but this man is ka every single every single second of the day every single second of the day he's ka but i appreciate y'all for rocking out with your boy i rock with you rock with me it's your boy Gabos. until next time man uh mamba out